Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to have a look at split toning. This is a method used for colouring a picture to actually put it away from its natural colours. Um, it was first developed around film photography and the movies um, to give it like an interesting colour cast. You see it in movies today where it is done to, for example, show a nostalgic scene and sort of as a signifier uh, that something is not quite as perhaps it might be. We'll start off with a little bit of colour theory, but what we're going to look for is colours. And the, the split toning principle is to put one colour into shadows and another colour into highlights. So how do we decide which those are? And we do this with the colour wheel here. And I've got the info uh, up here, which means if you look at the RGB down here, the numbers there is going to show me what's underneath the cursor at any one time. If you ever want to play with that, it's useful to have a look at it, is under View, Studio, and have it checked there. And you can park it in the panels over here. So any pair of colours we're going to use, and the normal way to pick colours, it, because it usually means they're going to look nice together, is just opposites, one opposite the other. You can use any pair, but if in doubt, try the opposites. And the most common pairing is teal and orange. Teal is down here, halfway between the blue and the cyan. And if you have a look here in that region on the info panel, you'll see that red is zero, green is uh, 128, and blue is 255. And that's the point at which it is teal. And directly opposite that, you can get the opposite effect. You're going to get orange here where red is 255, green is 128, and blue is 0. And usually on the colour wheel, something interesting happens every 30 degrees when it, the colours are some combination of 255, 128, and 0. Right, let's have a look at doing this in practice. So when you're in the um, develop module, you typically start off with a basics tab, and you may be doing colours here. But eventually you can look at the Tones tab over here, and Split Toning is there. And it's set up really nicely to, to work for you. If we start off with it turned down, if it's anything you get to any place and you're not sure what it is, that little circle up there, hit that and it's a reset and puts everything back to the beginning. We'll put in teal and orange, so teal was 30 degrees, and 180 degrees around from that on the colour wheel, which is 210 degrees, is the teal. Then we can turn these up because at the beginning you don't start with them up at all. So I turn up the highlights there. You can see the that's getting it a bit more orange. Give it a bit of time and it'll appear because it's going to calculate where all the pixels are. So if it doesn't seem to do anything, wait a little bit. And you can do the same. And you can turn it all the way up. It's perfectly fine. If you want a stronger effect or you can turn it down for a more subtle effect. And there you see that that looks quite different. And you can play with the balance here so you can make it more orange or more teal. So we don't want the people looking at a blue skin. So skin, normally you want to have that more on the oranges and reds, of course. So there we go. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? When we click on develop from here, right, it's going to take its time to get there. There we go. We're now in the photo persona. And we can gain, use the info panel to help get the colours that we want. But most of all, we go to the adjustments here and up to split toning. And you've now got the same combinations of things that you can do. We've already got the split toning from the develop that we did. If we'd not done it, we could do it here. Or we could even do something on top. Probably not a good idea. Anyway, that's the idea. Split toning. One colour in shadows. One colour into highlights. Um, normally the colour in the shadows are typically the blues and the purples and things like that and the ones in the highlights are the, the reds, yellows and oranges and possibly even green in one of them. So there we are. That's all that Split Tony is. Very easy to do. It gives you a nice, nice, easy tool to do it with and you can do it with a lot of other tools and some of the other videos are shown other ways of doing the same sort of thing but often all you need is just this simple tool. There you go, and thank you very much for watching.